first thing you want to do is dig a pit. The rule of thumb is one foot of depth for one month of heat beat. Then you place alternating layers of straw and manure about four inches deep per layer. You want to make sure you compact each manure layer as hard as you can. This will stop it sinking as much. You can give the top layer an extra nitrogen boost by using urine soaked bedding. In this case we used horse bedding from the stables. Now we're ready to start building the cold frame structure to sit on top. Start by building the base, exactly the same way you'd build a raised bed. Then add some side legs to it to give it height. And finish it up with some horizontal beams. That's the basic skeleton for our cold frame finished. Now we start glazing it with polycarbonate. Where two panels meet, doing them with a vertical plank. Put this on both sides for extra structure. Now we're going to build the door. We use three polycarbonate offcuts for this and we just cut them to the right size that we wanted the door to be. And where's the rest of the frame? We attach them where they meet with planks of wood. We found using lots of small screws gave us sturdier results. And here's a picture of the door finished just to give you an idea of the structure. It's then a case of placing the cold frame on top of our hotbed, attaching the door with two T-hinges and letting all that bacteria get to work producing heat using our manure and straw.